You know security is hard, so let's assume We're probably gonna get pwned by noon But if we all start to get the basics right We might not fully get pwned until Hey everybody, Brian Johnson here with the 7 Minute Security Podcast, and I'm very excited to be talking with you about BetterCap today, which is a man-in-the-middle framework that might remind you of EtterCap, but as the name implies, might actually be better than Etter. Uh, before we take a look at it, which if you want to skip what I'm about to say, you can hop to maybe the 4 or 5 minute mark and, and we'll get started with BetterCap. But I wanted to show you a little snafu I ran into on the way to updating my Kali system and running BetterCap for the first time. I found that on my test box here, my sources.list file was all jacked up, so I was not getting the latest and greatest updates uh, and, and tools. So uh, if you want to just double check that, uh, I'll stick a link in the in the show notes, but there's a great Kali.org article that uh, basically tells you, hey, if you want to you know, be uh, copacetic with your updates going forward, you need to make sure you're on the Kali rolling updates. So it's really just as easy as copying these commands and uh, pasting them into a terminal, and that will nuke your existing sources.list file and um, create one with uh, the right sources in it instead. And then from there, you can do an apt-get update, followed by an apt-get dist upgrade, and uh, you might want to uh, go get a coffee or 10 as they indicate on the blog uh, because uh, that next bit will take a while. Now if everything goes to plan you should be able to reboot the box and uh, continue using Kali but for me I got greeted with a black box of death. I couldn't SSH into the box. I tried typing in my password and hitting enter in case there was something like shielded and the display was jacked up and I'd have to repair it. Uh, but no luck. So after a lot of frustration and a whole bunch of googling I found this little gem of an article which pointed me to the fix and that fix was to manipulate my boot grub entry uh, to include no mode set it sounded almost too simple to work uh, until it did so just to show you this real quick you can uh, interrupt the uh, boot sequence hit tab to edit the startup commands and then I'm just going to add no mode set at the end here and then uh, hit control X to do my boot and there we go we've exercised the demons and then if you want to make that change permanent just edit your grub.cfg file and uh, just stick that same no mode set in the same place and you will be flipping good to go all right, super duper. So now back at a terminal, uh, try typing better cap. If it doesn't run right there from the command line, then you may still need to do an apt get install better cap to slurp it down to your machine. And then you should be all set. So the example I'm gonna show you is I am going to target the 192.168.55.65 IP and that's just a Windows 10 VM I have set up on the same network. And my hope here is to man in the middle its traffic so that I can capture uh, some sensitive information, such as usernames and passwords. All right, so on my target machine, I am going to go to Outlook.com. And a very important point to keep in mind here, since this machine is having its traffic proxied, um, as a result of all the things going on behind the scenes, it can take a long time for uh, you know web pages to load and requests to go through. So I'm going to fast forward time a little bit here, but I think it was right around between one and a half to two minutes before Outlook.com uh, finally loaded properly. And then once I did submit my username and password, uh, it took about 45 seconds for the page to kick back to me saying er, invalid login uh, and again I'm just going to speed that process along for uh, uh, the sake of time 
All right, so in this case, the credentials were invalid since this is just a test, but either way, let's go back to our Kali box and see what has popped up in the BetterCap terminal. And we will be quite delighted to see a login captured, bring me at hotmail.com with password, I just got pwned. So as I think you can see, BetterCap is an extremely powerful man in the middle traffic manipulation tool that obviously, clearly, you will only use with, uh, you know, permission and approval of all parties involved in your uh, traffic tinkering. Uh, but please be sure to go to bettercap.org uh, to see more videos, look at the additional commands and modules and flags and things you can use because uh, this is just barely scratching the surface and uh, I look forward to getting more educated on the tool as well and, and keeping an eye on its progress. That's all I got for you today, folks. I really hope you have a fantastic day and a uh, blessed week. And if I can do anything for you, uh, I'm at 7ms.us, and my contact information will uh, follow right now. So uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. You've been watching or listening to an episode of 7-Minute Security a weekly podcast focusing on IT and information security topics such as penetration testing, network configuration, virtualization, and career advice. For more information, visit www.7ms.us.